Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you about Sino Nasal Ossifying Fibroma Imaging. So it is the benign fibrous osseous lesion composed of fibrous dysplasia and major bone. Most common signs and symptoms generally asymptomatic and found incidentally. Other signs and symptoms. Chronic sinusitis symptom, rhinorrhea pain, chest swelling, nasal obstruction, displaced teeth, exothermal, cyclopia, visual acuity loss due to orbital effect. Clinical profile: twenty to forty years old woman with mixed soft tissue ossifying sinus lesion incidentally detects on CT perform for other region. After a mimic other fibrous versus lesion and diagnosis not made on basis of CT alone or imaging alone based on combination of clinical, radiologic, and pathologic criteria. Also, hyperparathyroidism shows tumor symptom area association. Also, more dominant disease with parathyroid adenoma or carcinoma and ossifying fibroma of jaw. Occasional retinal and uterine tumor. Mutation in CDC 70C chain. Demography. First, A. First appear in Jangada around 20 to 40 years, most common. Wide and reported. Predominant in female. Epidemiology, 10 to 20 of craniofacial ossifying fibroma arise in Maxland. Less than 0.5% risk of malignancy degeneration. Imaging, imaging apparent variety. Classic apparent is six bony peripheral rims surrounding fibrocenter. CT expansive mass with soft tissue density, central area surrounded by ossifying, may be indistinguishable from fibrous dysplasia and osteoma. T1 intermediate to low signal throughout tumor. T2 mixed low and high signal area. Inhomogeneous enhancement of fibrous component, um, uh, apparent variable, and may appear aggressive, important to correlate with CT apparent. Bone CT demonstrate a wild circumscribed expansive sinonasal ossify in fibroma in the right anterior atmoid sinus with narrowing of the right olfactory group. The mass is completely ossified and difficult to distinguish from fibrous dysplasia or osteoma. Bone CT, so a light ossified fibro, fibroma of the upper top left of the frontal bone. This ossified in fibroma, so a mix ossified and fibrous density. It is expansive and the patient presented with cosmetic deformity from forehead swelling and proptosis from opetomas effect. Non-contrast enhanced CT in the same patient so that the dominant focus of ossification in this case is center, it is central with surrounding soft tissue density rather than the classic pattern with peripheral ossification. Bone CT so an expansive mass in the Sino-nasal cavity, which show region of dense ossification and hypodense component. There is expansion into anterior cranial fossa and bilateral orbit. T2WIMI in the same patient 
So peripheral T2 hypointensive signal corresponding to ossification on CT and central multi loculated cystic component. Intracranial extension causes mass effect in the anterior cranial fossa. In this patient with juvenile ossifying fibroma. Treatment. Complete surgical incision is treatment of choice as permitted by ossifying fibroma location. Lesion with benign behavior that do not produce deformity may be treated with suretic and osteomy. Recurrent rate higher with this approach. Thank you.